Hello everybody, welcome back to the final episode of the Relativity CTF challenge. We've come a long way from a SQL injection of the FTP server to the uh, remote code execution using the local file inclusion to abusing a IRC service using a backdoor by doing some local port forwarding using SSH. And I hope you've been following through. If not, I highly encourage you to start from the first episode because this is a really, really cool challenge. All right, now the objective is to get root. And that's the final episode, it's the finale. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we notice is that there's, there's a new folder here for the user Geta, which uh, I'm not sure what it has. So let's uh, list its directory. It, it contains a script that's apparently owned by root and that we can run. Okay. Let's cd into auth and try to run this. Checking certificates, contacting certificate, could not establish connection, and then it sends a message. What are taking? Um, yeah, it's using cow. Yeah, cow say. So, echo the hackerish is here. Consider subscribing. And we have this in a nice cow say sentence. So what is this server? Well, what is this script actually? So file command would give us this answer. Uh, okay, so it's an ELF 64 bit. I don't, I don't have, I can't read the source code because that's a binary file, but uh, let's try with strings and uh, hope that we don't have to reverse engineer it like we've done with the previous challenge. Uh, strings, what do we have here? We recognize some C functions, puts, put char, printf, system, yeah, chicken certificates, that's the uh, strings that we found when we run the script. And uh, yeah, here's the cow save command that's using the fortune. Uh, actually, fortune, I guess, uh, let's run this and see what we get. Yeah, it's generating random quotes and sentences. And fortune-s, not sure what it does, but if we pipe this to cowsay, we get the same output as before with the random message content, much like we've had here. So definitely this is a valid command that's getting executed on the server. But I can't help but notice that fortune script is run without the absolute path. It's not like cow say here, slash user slash bin. So immediately I'm thinking of um, relative path exploit, which means that Let's say I export my path to be the current, the home directory of the user, right? And then column and then dollar path, which is nothing but the previous value of path. Now, if I echo dollar path, Dollar. You can see here we have home yeta, which is nothing but the current direct, uh, the home directory of the user. So if I uh, run something like, um, if I define a script that's called Fortune, that's going to be like, let's say. 
refresh. Um, let's say I just want to echo subscribe to the hackerish. Okay. Now, if I run Fortune, it's uh, I need to first change the uh, current Fortune script to executable, and then if I run Fortune, um, I expect it to be the content of my script, which it doesn't. Okay, let's investigate. Spin bash and echo subscribe to the hackerish. Our fortune script is here. It's working fine. So if I run fortune like this, it's executing my script. But if I just type fortune, it doesn't seem to work. What do we have in dollar path? Home yeta, which is properly configured. So I must be doing something wrong. Anyways, let's continue. Um, what do we have as this user? What can we do? sudo l. Okay, so we can run. Oh, we, okay, we can run this script that we've been analyzing without using any password as root if we type sudo. Okay. Okay, so let's run it. Whew, okay, it's it, it's actually working. Subscribe to the hackerish here means that our Fortune serv uh, script has been executed instead of the legitimate fortune script that's under user local or something like that. Uh, it's under, uh, no, it's not, yeah, it's under, please help me here. It's under, uh, I don't remember. I think it's user local fortune, no? Anyways, uh, the, the idea here is that we were able to run our current script and put it inside the message here, subscribe to the hackerish. Okay, perfect. So this means that we are running as root and posting this message, subscribe to the hackerish, but what happens if I change my benign script to something really nasty? Something that could give me a root shell? Well, I can use many, many ways, but the best way I can think of is copy bin bash to temp and call it bash, yeah, why not? And change it plus s. So the user would have the SUID bit set. All right, so moment of truth. Let's run our script using sudo. sudo home yeta auth server auth server. We should have subscribed to the hackerish in the message, but under temp, we should see a bash script as a set as a SUID. So in order to become root, it's actually really simple. We just need to type the, I mean, to run the new bash with dash B, which means don't drop the SUID bit. And if we type ID, we are yeta, yes, but the E UID is set here to root. The groups are set to root which means that we are essentially root. So now we landed on the root directory and we can read the flag. We can read the flag under slash pass WD. I really enjoyed this CTF and I hope you did too. If you are interested, yeah, why not try it on your own? It's a really, really fun CTF.
If you like this job, if you want to be a penetration tester, then I encourage you to go to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find the course from zero to signing your first ethical hacker job, which is essentially a roadmap to get you from zero to signing your first penetration testing job. Until the next challenge, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.